Hey, welcome to Questions, Comments, and Concerns for Episode 7 of uh, Threshold Relics of the Homeland. Hey everybody, welcome. Uh, we're going to talk about the last session and uh, Questions, Comments, Concerns. This was a so little, many uh, questions. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> so many concerns. I'm yeah. sorry. It's, we're gonna Lots get... of comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Well, I guess that's the point. Um, yeah, this was, a, this was a very different episode from uh, the last one we just did. Um, I know it's all like very obtuse right now, but I'm trying to mm -hmm. get things mm -hmm. together here. I feel very on edge about everyone in this city, like in the the six the six pillars, and it's like uh, yeah, I don't nothing, know. <laughs> nothing feels right. Yeah, nothing feels I right. I feel most really? on edge about Lady Tip. Mm -hmm. I do. I do. Honestly, <laughs> I'm uh, totally <coughs> concerned that Lady Tip would keep. Mm -hmm. The stone and the message is secret. Mm -hmm. Very. It, it, yeah, and just sort of like the whole way that she's acting towards um, towards who, whatever this undead thing is, which literally like the, the Ferrex's whole job is just to kill this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And like the fact that she seems so like almost like she wants something from it, mm -hmm. that freaks Ferrex out. Mm -hmm. And so I think that he is feeling much more aligned with at the moment. Fair enough. Which is kind of fun. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of it's kind of fun. It's I mean if you want me to tell you like nope. no, no, don't tell us anything. I like I, I mean, like if, what's going on. If it's you good. if yeah. you want to find out you gotta ask her what's going on because no. it's yeah. Um, but it's yeah. it's kind of it was nice that Necrophirus was not the big bad guy. At least it doesn't feel that way right now. Hmm. Like I was yeah. two seconds away from. I know. It was yeah. rain his ass. It yeah, was refreshing were. that he was just kind of just like, look, I know you think I'm an abomination, but I'm not really that bad. Like, I just, yeah, he's mostly just tired. He's, tired. he's sad. He's, yeah, he's a tragic character and not like an evil presence. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that was kind of cool to. I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah, I like that was, a lot. I really like that. Yeah. But he wasn't like this evil thing. He was just like. Just sad. Yeah, yeah. he was just a guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Old man, old yeah, man. super old guy, and <laughs> dead guy. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, he was he was one of the like first things I came up with. That I just I wanted, I wanted sort of like a an old elven undead that wasn't necessarily a bad guy. A lot of really old people here. Yeah, this episode is super full of concerned really, about really super really concerned. old people. Yeah. yeah, that old half elf. Has, has Toss like he scares me the most? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Toss is very scared because like that's really abnormal, obviously, but yeah. also because he's just like, wait, well, how did you do that? Because yeah. if I could do that, yeah, I would almost be. Helping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am. Um, I'm. I'm kind of interested in like the relationship between these people, like the monks and the church, mm -hmm. and and. If you're in the middle of nowhere, I, I, I maybe it was maybe it was mentioned, but it was still unclear to me. How did they even get word out that that's they the question? Needed that's the other question. That was left ambiguous. That's yeah, you guys specific. didn't ever ask. It's very specific too. Like, we oh, I did ask in, that. In, oh, you did. I right. did ask. This you're right. I just gave you like a weird and answer. Then, uh -huh. What's going to happen if we like open this portal? Yeah, right. that's why. I, that's so. Yeah, you opened the portal. Did. You we opened did. the portal oh, so and you walked away. Did. And we left. It. We did it and we left. Yeah. Now it's like, like who knows what we've done. <laughs> that's, we had orders, that's my though. favorite. That's that was, orders, so like, that was so good. That was so good. Toss was like well, questioning himself. Well, they'll get lost in the nexus, and you know what? Whoa, it's fine. Whoa. They'll just like wander the nexus <laughs> and die. I forgot <laughs> to <laughs> ask though. Um, where was the destination point of the portal? Where was the destination point of the portal? Yeah. Like as far as. Um, what is it? What's we, the other end? Yeah, yeah what's the other end? We knew its origin like was. It goes to the Nexus. I think I told you it was, it's linked to the Nexus. Yeah. So the Nexus oh, but, but, and wh then. Where the Nexus? Just somewhere uh, not a script. Somewhere. You're not sure. Okay. Somewhere. But I mean, regardless, uh, like, we've opened it up, so basically anyone that has access to the Nexus well, has, that, has access can to the now. Nexus now. How, yeah, but yeah. they don't know how to traverse the Nexus. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Might like, be obvious. Yeah. Right. That's. I wasn't sure exactly where. But who, like, there could be somebody on the other end, maybe, that's like. Just waiting for like that that something to open up and be like ah that must be it like right 
We and we'd we be, no we idea. beaconed too. So. Yeah, and we beaconed. Like we basically were just like, I hey, I don't, <laughs> I don't trust do Moon. This thing. I don't trust Moon. Yeah, okay, here we go. This is this is my theory, and mm-hmm. I'll just put it here on record. Um, my theory is that because this is obviously some kind of Lunem power base, right? We have a moon. We have a moonberry tree, which is like the symbol, the embodiment of Lunem on the on the strip. And we have the um, Patrulunum sending us out there. Yeah. That's so, and I don't uh, trust do you, him. I think there's some red flags going on. No trust. Oh, uh, so so <laughs> you mean, think there's a, something as a with player? The... I don't trust him either, but yeah. Toss yeah. trusts him. So you think like the Church of Lunam is planning something like to regain power? And maybe I think there's some. I think yeah. There's, I think there's some funny business going on. I hope so. <laughs> funny business <laughs> is good. <laughs> Tiff, you are funny business. Yeah, yeah. I can't even <laughs> talk to you right now. <laughs> it's oh man, speculation's yeah, mad that you're taking. I'm so taking writing a report on you. <laughs> when we get back. What? I'm so writing a report on you. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I think it's interesting. Like I was thinking, like where does Garrett stand on this? I think he's just professionally detached. Yeah. Like <laughs> I like yeah Garrett. A lot of the time is just very quiet, and he'll just be like, <laughs> I'm observing the situation. But I don't care. Well, it's, <laughs> like, it, it's not his job to care. Like, yeah. It's, yeah. He, he was He's told by the guild. The guild is the one that's supposed to vet their clients. Yeah. And, and this is a government entity, too. So, like, they're trusted in some sense. Like, yeah. So, yeah, he's just along for the ride. I am stoked to to read some some romance novel and have some <laughs> Garitas, yeah. like, romantic <laughs> discussions. Yeah. Well, he has, he's got, there's a personality in there. I love the title of that book because I think it, it would be super interesting to have like it's, a history it, behind the character who the books are based <laughs> off of, right? Yes, it's Affections of Ardalia, a summer stream. Ardalia, Ardalia. Nice. Um, I was a little bit for this episode. I was, uh, I felt that we were a little bit lost. Yeah, in, in and places. I, I started to feel that too. And I, yeah, I apologize. It wasn't like. I think it, uh, at least for me, like I forgot. Of course, I forgot that we were supposed to clear out the energy, um, but I was sort of waiting for. It. Obviously, once Vox's sister ran there, I was like, okay, that's where we're going. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there was sort of a there was sort of a middle yeah. here where we were sort of like, sort of partly us being hesitant to like just charge yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah I, I was pretty much. Yeah, if you guys just wanted to do whatever, I was willing to roll with it. I just. Uh, Oh, yeah, we just yeah, didn't I, have I was, I was, it, was it took me a little bit to figure out exactly how I needed to prod mm-hmm. you guys and stuff. And we got through it. It's good. Yeah. yeah, I think there's there's just enough mystery in the air that it was keeping us from being too too bold. Yeah, yeah, in any direction. Really. Yeah, and I, I, yeah, and I've been. It's all been terribly mysterious. So, we, like, no, which is like super enjoyable. But yeah, it was also yeah. just like yeah, it, it, there was like a few moments where it's just like well. What do we do? <laughs> like, Sometimes nothing I, feels right. And yeah, this is just yeah. sort of me playing, like, with the meta of the genre. Sometimes mm-hmm. I don't know. It's like, am I supposed to fight this guy? Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, should I blow his head? Should I try to blow his head off? Yeah. Or right. I was close to doing it too, but I, when, you guys acted in character, and that's all I wanted yeah. you to do. So. Right, right. But Steven, the player, yeah. is going okay because really, there's two ways that. Any at any point, because Ferrix doesn't have necessarily one character thing. Like yeah. he could either be like, "I'm out of here. I'm not going to fight you. Like yeah. I don't care about you." Or it's like, "I can swing it the other way," which is like, "Well, I have these reasons why I would hate you." Yeah, and I can figure out a reason to start a fight with you. And then Steven, the meta player, <laughs> is trying to figure out, okay, which way is Kevin? Yeah, which way does he want me to go? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so it was kind of fun towing that line. Yeah. I'd- Honestly, I'm just throwing ambiguous situations at you and see, seeing what you guys do. So, <laughs> it, it's super fun. I'll, I'll definitely say that. Like, mm-hmm. I wasn't, I was never just like lost, but I was okay. always very just like, oh man, I don't know what would be the best thing. Which to do. is honestly like, probably how your character was feeling at the oh, same yeah. time. So that's Hoss is fine. very conflicted about everything right now. And now that there's some weird like possibly moon lunar baby. child, yeah, <laughs> yeah. the moon baby toward us, I'm just like. What is going on? Yeah, next episode we're gonna. Well, we only have a few more left. Just two more, right? Oh man, yeah, two more. So, so next episode, do we level before we start, or is next it episode at the, at, the com- at the completion of next episode, you guys are gonna go oh. up a level. Man, okay. Yeah. 
Fourth level spells. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, man. I don't think I get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you got your double attack and yeah, stuff already. Right. Okay. So uh, cool. Uh, anybody else have anything? No? no Feel good? Great. What, you, what about you? Like, oh. What, did, what are your questions, comments, concerns? <laughs> what are the weakest um, players do? I, I thought it was fine. I, Josh was like throwing me weird curveballs with making up ha- like this, <laughs> all this all this one way portal crap, and I'm like, what? That's wait, the how? Josh special. Yeah, you just I'm, gotta be ready for this. Yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> wait, how? Gotta be on that quick wait, draw. how's this gonna work? So if they go through to go home, are what's gonna happen? Can something still come through there? Can something leave? I just like figuring out the logistics of that while still trying to like okay. role play you're and making, figure out what you guys are cannon, doing. You're making man. One wrong word, you can break your whole world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thanks for making so it easy. So if you go back and forth twice and then break it and then come, you're like, <laughs> yeah. You should have asked me before. Sure. Yeah, thanks, Josh. Like, on the spot. <laughs> that um, was. That's cool though. I, I like all that portal shit. Okay, so yeah. was I not being really clear as to what I was trying to like? explain about the portal and the because I, I picture there's no rooms and then he said there are multiple portals in the area so my thinking is why would you not go to each of those portals and try and reconstruct the runes based off of all of them not like actually right, right, stone right. to like draw them on a piece of paper and then carve them into the stone so I think, was I, I was, not being I was clear or no. was like no, you, you, no, no, I, mean, well, I think <laughs> the, the direction Josh went with that which is not in which, which is pretty close to the truth is yeah it's uh, portal stones are made out of something that's not just rock right um right, there's the portal and then there's the stone yeah and like that's that's like imbued and stuff and it's like i totally get the that portal i figured was made out of something and like just yeah. because they're in the same area doesn't mean they necessarily like i mean you were right what you said made absolute sense oh yeah, yeah. You i were just thought sense. it was yeah. more interesting from a ferrix perspective to be like no that would never work <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible i mean with also thinking in like the like how you don't want to completely break this portal thing um as far as like a like a world mechanic right. uh-huh. um you know maybe there are limitations with like how how if, you know if you put like the wrong address on a portal across the world it can't necessarily work i'm gonna yeah. probably so, write a series and i'll probably work with the two of you on this sure is write a series of spells that have to do all with them like i think there's a, an eighth level spell or something which is create nexus gate That'd be awesome. Yeah, That'd be yeah. Cool. Because gate is the ninth level spell, and that lets you go from plane to plane, right? Yeah. There's, so a level below that would be create nexus gate, which lets you go between them. So I think we need mm. to write a series of spells that deal with yeah the nexus gate. Yeah, we can release those we can work PDF. through that. Yeah, and that'll probably be another Patreon perk or some yeah, such. Because the Technicifer's union is so fun. I love it. But there's so sort of what's really been helpful to me being. <laughs> a player in this game is sort of like all the things that as a DM you can just hand wave right yeah. but as a player it would be really nice to have a concrete set of rules for like operate because a lot of the time you're just having to make some arcana checks which is which is the best solution with the rules we have Yeah. but now that I see the potential for the interesting storytelling yeah, it's like just put some structure to yeah let's have a let's have a fourth level spell which is like repair repair yeah. nexus yeah, gate yeah, yeah, yeah. or yeah, totally. a lot of these yeah. things that you can't do as a player that I'm like Oh, this is exactly what what spell we need here. Yeah. Yeah. I think it would be great. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that. Um, that'll be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. So funny. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, that was I, that was most of it. Uh, every, everybody good? Everybody feel good? I'm yeah. great. Awesome. Thank you for watching questions, comments, concerns. I'll see you tomorrow for afterwards. Check out all our Patreon stuff. Subscribe. See you tomorrow. <laughs>